You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. I scream, you scream, we all scream for the Dr. Dreadful ice cream machine. Hopefully you're ready to check this out with me on video. It is from Tyco back in the 90s. I'll give you the exact year in just a second. Looks gross, tastes great. Create frightening frozen treats. You'll never eat regular ice cream again. Add secret ingredient. Watch gross treats fall into monster's mouth. Add gross toppings. Enjoy for ages. Six and up down there. Let me show you some of the other side panels or kind of repeats. Create frightening treats. And then this one is, I'm pretty sure, oh, got more packet information. Must use packets by August of 1997, or best if used by then. We have a slight problem because I am going to use them right now. Oh, the bottom, that shows you the year. It is from 1994, Tyco Industries, Inc. And then let's get to the back. You're probably wondering why I show you the box. Well, to me, it's just kind of documenting the toy and kind of neat to see all the different panels on there. Create frightening frozen treats. Here's the list of all the ingredients. And yes, I have a sweatshirt on because it is minus 16 degrees with a wind chill of, say, almost 40 degrees today. I thought, great day to make ice cream. Okay, also look for the Dr. Dreadful Drink and Food Labs to create your own super labs. I believe I have done one or two of those on video. I have them if I haven't done them already. Refills let you create gobs and gobs of gruesome grub. Yeah, these are... Fun sets to play with, and I have shown you so many. I will put a link in the description. You can check those out. Now let's get this out of the box. We will check out all of the pieces, and I'll show you what packets I have. That ice cream looks pretty gruesome there. See that? It's a very putrid-looking green. I will be right back. All right, the nice thing about this set is it also had its internal cardboard structure, at least most of it. A lot of times you do not see that still available with the toy. It's just thrown away. Toys get in box and things get thrown away. All right, so here's everything. All uh, not nicely packed, but I can just pull it out in just a second here, get this out of the way. Okay, there we go. My packets are, well, let's just slowly get the pieces here, lay them all out so we can see everything that was with it. There is the monster's mouth, look at that. It's ice cream scatty. You have your little skull ice cream cup. You have a little mixing bowl, looks like. And, uh, well, we'll see. That could be the mixing bowl, actually. You have some pieces here, so I have to put things together. I have my trusty spoon. And then the main machine. The main machine. You have your chamber where you put your salt. Okay, so this one still has the little packets of chocolate topping. I have the gruesome gray ice cream. It's hard as a rock, but I think I'm gonna to try to reconstitute that one. This one here is the gross green ice cream. Here is the dirt topping, chocolate flavored cookie crumbs. Oh boy, we're gonna have some fun today. And then a piece of paper or plastic from another item, but that's okay. I have not cleaned this out, which I will do. And then we have this little Tyco customer service card, product registration, maybe they didn't register it at the time, and of course this instruction booklet. Let me do that. Let me do this for anybody that needs it. I always hold them up and then let me do that for all the pieces. Okay, so before I put anything together, I want to wash all of the important parts, which I will do next, come back and then Let's put it together. All right, everything is thoroughly washed. Now, this canister is two pieces. And I was thinking about this maker because it's a very similar design, the ones that I've already done, uh, going way back to the 50s. So the concept has been around quite a long time. Now, this was a little cup for that, so that you can have a two-piece system there. All right, then. First things they show you on the instruction are putting this into this side and then locking it in with this. Okay, so that clips in. So once it's in, you probably have to pry it out. Okay, there you go. All right, and then 
Now let's put it together. Uh, actually, they don't show you. Oh, they show you a little bit here. All right, so you have that like that. This will eventually go in here. It looks like this gear is going to sit here and then hit the gear so that you can spin it. All right. This is just a temporary setup. I have to, of course, put all the ingredients in. And then this one, which was on the unit originally, I had to take it off. Uh, just to wash the piece. This one, okay, man, the top. Let's see. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, I want this together first. So this was holding this with little clips. It's to make it look like the monster's mouth. See that? There, I got it. There was a little clipping system under there, and then here. Okay, this looks like it's going to go here. So this is the system. What's happening is I'm going to be pouring in the ingredients back here. This is a freezing chamber, and when I push this, it's going to scrape it off of that, okay? So this looks like it's going to go like this. I don't feel like a super duper clip in there but that's what it shows and then this looks like it goes into this one this one and then this oh I see this clips onto the front of this and then now we have what appears to be is our monster oh, there we go All right, I'll have to play with the actual final clipping but let me give you a, a front down look now so you can kind of see so as I'm doing this, you're going to be eating the ice cream and getting it out of the chamber. Of course, review all of that, but I think I got it pretty good. And then I'll see the clipping part on this. I had one clip in. I'll have to see what's going on there. But otherwise, mixing bowl, spoon, and my eating vessel. So I am all set. I will come back now with all the necessary ingredients and I will start the process. All right, so technically this is step two. First one, choose your flavors, get all your ingredients ready, which I have done. So step two, fill the drum with ice and half a cup of salt, then press on the lid so that it seals tightly. Be sure the gasket is seated flat in the rim of the lid. Set the drum aside while you prepare the ice scream mix. And it does have a warning, which I'll read to you. I thought it was kind of... Well, I don't know, kind of funny, but not funny, I guess. You know how those things are. It was cute the way they said it. And then I also noticed that they are using a regular type measuring cup. It does not look like a dry ingredient measuring cup, but either way, it was pretty close. So I'm just gonna get this in there. This is regular table salt. It said a half a cup. And it did say, do not use crushed ice. I will show you the few things. It says, be sure to use ice cubes. Crushed ice will not produce proper freezing. And then here it says, dry hand thoroughly before handling the ice, uh, the cold aluminum can as wet skin, fingers, or tongue can stick to the cold, dry metal. This will need to settle just a little, but I bet you in a few minutes it will. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so I'm going to let that set off to the side. It looks sealed. And then on the actual ingredients. Now, here's my situation. Let me get a couple bowls in here. The green one actually looks good in regards to being soft and ready to go. There's the ingredients. Ooh, there's some more instructions. But there's also instructions in the booklet. So let's just pour this out so you get a nice visual of what we have here. Okay, so the green one has this brown color. It smells okay, believe it or not. Okay, that's that one. Now this one is the one that's the issue, the gray. I'm a little concerned now, that was supposed to be green. <laughs> this one actually looks green. So maybe I'm just confusing my colors. There's the brown and then this one. Okay, so this one, See if I could just break it in half. Appears 
to need some work. So I will take this now and give this a quick break up. Come on, come on. I know some of you are saying, why would you ever do this? Well, I don't know. I kind of like showing you what the toys originally came with. That's why I'm always trying to do that aspect of it, because that, for me, is the, the history of the toy. All right, let's give this one a sniff. Hey, it smells okay. All right. Whew. I think I'll, she'll be on and move on to the next step. So let me get this one crushed up, and then we'll start making the actual ice cream mixture. All right, here we go. Now, I did notice this is not clipping on right because the blue piece is a little warped, so I might have to tape that down when I get to that point. They want this put in here now. Remember, be careful. Dry hands, dry hands. Let's just make sure it spins okay. It spins good. Okay, and remember, this is going to hit this because it's cold. And that's where it's going to form. Okay, I can hold off on trying to secure that. Let's bring in my mixing bowl here. Now it says one cup of half and half or milk. So that's what I did. Well, did it say half and half? It says one cup of half and half or milk. Here we go. I'm going to put this in first. This way I can regulate the powder going in here so I make sure I get a good little mix here. I have been kind of knocking into the uh, the little clumps. That's what I want to say. Okay, it says add contents of ice cream packet into a bowl. Pour in one cup, half a cup of milk. I reverse that. And then stir with scoop until the mix is completely dissolved. Okay, for a low-fat treat, use one cup of milk in place of the half and half. It's, it's changing color in there, but it's not mixing. Oh, there it is. It does. It has sort of a green hue to it, doesn't it? Now look at that bubble that just formed. Oh, this looks toxic. <laughs> toxic, but fun. Oh yeah, look, it's starting to change color. Here, let me give you a, a better view here, and then I'll uh, move the camera in slightly. Get my hand out of the way. Mix it from this way. Bring it down here. All these little changes I have to do. But it is turning green. Isn't that weird how the brown has turned green? Mmm, that looks so appetizing. It doesn't smell pungent, so in that sense, I think I'm okay. Now when I do videos like this, I don't do this for any kind of shock value. I do it for just learning and history. There's enough shock channels out there that try to shock you with everything. And I don't eat a lot. I'll just give it a little taste, especially when it's this old. Okay, look at that. Mmm. I think I'm going to keep mixing it, so I'll come back. There, look, it's starting to dissolve even more. And it's bubbling up really nice. After I feel it's ready, and then I will pour it in, and we will start making some green ice cream. ready to go. Everything's set. I upgraded my tool to one of my whisks just so I had a little bit better mixing here. Now it says only put in half. So they don't want you to put the whole thing in. It says, all right, here we go. Pour half of the ice cream mix into the back of the machine. As illustrated, pour in only half of the mix at a time for proper freezing. 
begin slowly turning the crank. Okay, so let me just get it this way so you can see it going in and then it wants to be clockwise. I think that's clockwise, but I'm backwards now, so. Oh, look at how it's coating it. Did you see how it coated that? Ooh, let me get you in here. This looks pretty cool. Look at the color in there. It coated it really nice. All right, so let me turn this around now. I'll give you another top down shot. It says, important that the scraper remains forward in the non-scraping position. So that's what it is right now. And then let's just, I did end up taping this down if you noticed. After two and a half to three minutes. Okay, so I've got some time to kill here. I guess I will uh, come back in about uh, three minutes and we'll scrape it off. I'll be back. All right, now it says, I've been going for a while, while holding the scraper, oh, time to stop. Holding the scraper in this position, turn the crank, okay, so they want you to go this way and see if ice cream forms, and it does. Okay, so now it says go back around, a full rotation, Okay, turn the can one for rotation. This should scrape all the ice. Okay, so now I need to, now that I've checked it, now I need to give you a different perspective as it comes out of the mouth. Ooh, it's starting to drip out of the monster's mouth. That was the top coating, but it's pretty thick on there. I can see it now. So let me uh, give you a better position to see it now. All right, here we go. I'm gonna scrape off my ice cream now. Ooh, you could tell it's pretty. Pretty frozen on there. Mmm, oh, how beautiful does that look? I got quite a bit. Here, let me show you inside now. That is so cool. This is how these machines work. It's pretty neat how they scrape. So basically with me holding this here, it is scraping it right off. And it's all off the drum. Look, the drum is clean. Okay, so I'm gonna I actually take this now and freeze it in a larger bowl because it's always better to put it in the freezer for a little bit and I'll make another batch with you. All right, I did want to show you this coming out, so let me see if I could pick this up. It's definitely frozen in a sheet. Okay, I'm going to make the other flavor, but I want to get as much of this in my bowl in the freezer as possible. I'm going to wait to taste it. Oh, it was so tempting to taste it. I will come back now with the next batch. Okay, next batch, it is quite the putrid color, I must say. <laughs> now watch as it comes around the canister. Here, I'll give you this shot because this will be better for you to see it. I kind of missed it the last time. Here we go. That's so neat. Oh, that was in the wrong position. Okay, three minutes and we'll scrape off the next batch.
right, it's real close. I think I have seconds left. 10 seconds. I thought I'd give you the better look inside from this direction now that we saw it from the front. Okay, here we go. Just push this down. Oh, it's hard to see now. Let me just move it up just a little bit this way. Let's see if you can see it as it's scraping off. Here we go. Oh, it's really frozen on there. There it goes. Okay, take a look at it. Another nice batch. All right, next time you see me, I'll have this all ready for the next uh, flavor. I'm gonna do both flavors, so I'll be back with that. All right, here we go, second batch. This time I'm gonna put a little bit of this in now and layer it a little bit. It only took about 10 minutes to wash everything and get it ready. I probably could have reused what was in here, but I just for sake of making sure it's all gonna work just right, I wanna duplicate what I just did. Okay, I can see here now that this is sealed because the black is all pressed in. All right, that one's set. So. This one took a while to get to this uh, uh, finer particulate matter, I guess you would call it. Let me get you in here. I'm trying to do this without stopping this time so you get the whole experience at one time. All right, so this one should be gray. What do you think? Let's see. Hmm, such a pretty color. Yeah, it's turned a nice gray color. How beautiful is that? Actually, this one mixed up better than the other one. Wow, it's already mixed. All right, let's move on to the next step. Isn't that pretty color? Mmm, can't wait to try the gray and green ice cream. I'll do that all at the end, get my sprinkles set, so let's uh, get this one in the machine. All right, here we go. The next tasty looking flavor, half goes in. Okay, I have three minutes now. So when that one is ready, my timer is set, I will come back. Maybe I'll stay with you just a little on this one. I'd say overall, first batch came out great. Happy with it. Now, I used to kind of show you all the mixing steps. I wouldn't even edit that out, but I've been, you know, here and there, I'll edit some of the mixing out so you're not listening to me babble for three minutes. I do have maybe four more sets that I have not shown you, so I'm gonna try to get to those. Oh man, I've got some cool stuff. I'm just trying to weed out some of the last of the new items and then mixing in some stuff that I needed to get done. And then stuff that I showed you, that I promised you I needed to get that done. And then uh, it does take a little bit more time to get these makers all situated, make sure all the pieces are there, get all your ingredients, get everything set. But I enjoy doing them. Hope you enjoy watching them. So I'll come back now. I think I've talked enough in two minutes. All right, here we go. Are you ready for the wonderful looking gray? Oh, it's a little softer than the other one, but there we go. Now it's coming off nice. Oh, the whole sheet's coming off inside. Ah, nice. Very good extraction there. 
Okay, I know it's so tempting for me to give that one a little but I will not. Let me move that to another bowl. Okay, there was a little bit on my countertop. Let's uh, get that in there. The color is actually not too bad. If you like gray ice cream, it's a nice consistency too. I like that sound as it slops down in my bowl. Here, let's take a look at that consistency. The other one I did not do this to, so it's going to still remain flat, but this one I'll put in the freezer like this. Looks pretty good. All right, I have one more batch to make, so let me do that. Now, actually, uh, I'll just come back when it's ready to come out so you can see that one more time. It looks really nice. Okay, here we go. Last one. Wow, you gotta break through that initial layer on the drum. That one froze really good. Ooh, look at that. All right. That's another successful ice cream extraction. Okay, I just wanted to give you a quick look at the drum and inside that. So that is batch number two going into the freezer. And then let me do this. I was going to take this apart real quick here. So I, like I said, I taped this just because it was not staying down properly. No matter what I did. Okay. And then this again comes off. So I rinsed all that. This I'll put in the bowl. Here's my drum. You will see. There's a little bit still in there. I want to show you inside here. Ooh, it won't let me hold it. It's frozen on. There we go. So that's what's in there. Here, I'll just dump it out for you so you get a good idea. What happens, the salt stays together and then the ice cubes uh, all melt around it. It melted pretty good, so just a little bit more cleanup here and I will come back and I will have both ready to taste. Okay, I am back and very pleasantly surprised at the colors of my ice cream. Take a look at them. I'm gonna give you a close up view so you can see the beautiful green I have and the Really great gray I have. This gray, you know, very modern color nowadays for interior design is gray. Uh, for ice cream, though, I'm not sure if it fits the bill for most people. The green one might pass as like a green tea ice cream, but a little darker than you would normally see. All right, so now these extra little toppings here. This one here is the ant toppings, they call them. Let me grab a scissors. Now these are old. So I'm not expecting to really dig in here, but I'll at least pour some out for you so you could see what they originally look like. Okay, there's that one. Then this one is the Dr. Dreadful Dirt Topping Chocolate Flavored Cookie Crumbs. I can't imagine this one smelling too hot, but hey, you know what, we're here, let's check it out. There we are, it's a nice, it almost looks like powdered coffee. Hmm, doesn't smell unpleasant. Okay, so if you're playing with this set way back when, you're saying to yourself, all right, I've got this nice looking ice cream. All right, let me get my cup. Now I was going to try to get a scoop or two of each, well, let me get a scoop in each, and then I'm gonna bring in a much uh, stronger little scooper here than the plastic one they give you. Gonna make a nice little ball for the bottom. Okay, I have not tasted it, so 
If you're wondering, I have not given this a taste at all. Not even on my finger, I'm just kind of waiting. All right, then let's scoop this one. They froze up really nice. Okay, like that. And I think what I'm gonna do is go side by side and put a little gray on the top to kind of give me both flavors in one. Who wouldn't want to try this with me? I don't know, maybe everybody out there, I'm not sure. Would you try this with me if you were here? Okay, so there we go. Okay, let's move those out of the way. Let's get this in here. Let's get our toppings on it. I guess ultimately, when you're making a video like this, you want to try to get at least one good shot of the final product. Okay, here we go. I'm guessing that's what this side of the spoon is for. Let's get some dirt. Now it's gonna hit the tabletop, but I'll try to clean up. And let me get some of these on there. Look at that, mmm. What a nice looking treat. Okay, I did it. There we go. So, how many answered me and said, oh yeah, if I was there, I would try it. Or how many said, no way. Okay, here we go. Let's get a nice close up so you can see my final dessert. I have to say it worked great. So that that's one thing I could tell you for sure. All right, here we go. Ooh, this is some old ice cream. Now you don't have to use this set. If you had this maker, you can use any ice cream mix you want. Okay, here is the gray. This beautiful gray. It's got a little of the chocolate topping on there. You would not be able to tell how old that is. Hmm, it's okay. Here is this green. Let me get a couple of these little, here, I'll just sprinkle them on with my side dish. There, I'm gonna try the green one. What does the gray one taste like? Well, it's sweet. Um, I can't really say it's a flavor. Did it say on the packets? Let me look real quick. Yeah, they don't, uh, one just says chocolate and one says vanilla. So I'm guessing that was the vanilla. Let's try this one. That's the chocolate, I think. Or I just ate more of the chocolate topping. You know, I gotta tell you for, well, I wouldn't recommend anybody eating this. That's not why I show it, like I said earlier. I just like to show how these sets were originally made. So I have to say it's all right. It really isn't bad. What do you think of that? Did you have fun watching me make ice cream with my ice cream maker? If so, let me know in the comments. And I have to thank you for taking time to watch and see me do this. I'm sure you want to see more. Well, I don't know. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. I'll put up a poll. How's that? More Dr. Dreadful or not? You let me know because I have more sets. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.